Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Kornberg with Southeast Veterinary Neurology and today I want to walk you through one very specific and easily overlooked possible cause of vestibular symptoms in pets. Usually when a pet shows up with vestibular symptoms or balance problems, we naturally worry about some really scary possibilities in the brain, like encephalitis or brain tumors. And yes, those are always on our diagnostic radar. What if I told you that the culprit behind your pet's sudden neurological symptoms might actually be something sitting right in your medicine cabinet? Today, we're talking about metronidazole toxicity. The good news, it's reversible. The challenge, it's easy to miss without your pet's medical history. So let's walk through what this is and how to spot it and how to help your pet bounce back. Metronidazole, maybe you've heard of it. It's called by its brand name, Flagyl. It's a powerful antibiotic used in both human and veterinary medicine. It's particularly good at fighting off infections that thrive in environments without oxygen and even works on some prozole parasites like Giardia. What makes it special and sometimes tricky is that it can cross the blood-brain barrier, meaning it can reach infections in the brain and the spinal cord. That's a huge benefit when we need it, but it also means that in some pets, specifically at higher doses or with long-term use, it can start affecting the nervous system in ways we don't want. Vestibular symptoms from metronidazole toxicity usually appear with high doses or prolonged use, but they've also been seen with normal or even low doses in sensitive pets. If you notice any of these signs in your pets, contact a veterinarian right away. Head tilt, loss of balance and difficulty walking, vertical nystagmus, lethargy, appetite loss, tremors, and seizures in severe cases. There are four main reasons why we might see metronidazole toxicity in pets. Number one, overdose. Whether from a pet breaking into a pill bottle or a dosing error, toxicity is more likely when the dose exceeds 30 milligram per kilogram per day. Number two, prolonged use. Even at normal doses, given the medication for weeks or months can build up in the system and cause problems. Number three, drug allergies or sensitivities. Some pets are simply more sensitive and toxicity can occur at lower doses than we'd normally expect. Four, drug interactions. Certain medications like phenobarbital or cyclosporin can interfere with how the body processes metronidazole, increasing risk. What makes this even trickier is that it's unpredictable. We see dogs on metronidazole for months suddenly show symptoms and others react within a few days. Some pets tolerate higher doses with mild signs while others on perfectly appropriate doses still develop toxicity. That's why, from a veterinarian standpoint, metronidazole toxicity should be on our radar whenever we see a dog with vestibular signs. In some cases, we might do an MRI or a cerebrospinal fluid analysis to look for elevated protein levels and rule out other causes like stroke, encephalitis, or brain tumors. But sometimes, the best and least invasive approach is to stop the metronidazole altogether and treat for suspected toxicity to see if your pet improves. If the suspicion is correct, things should be markedly better within a few days. The first and most important step is to discontinue the medication under direction from your veterinarian. From there, treatment is supportive and focused on helping your pet recover. Supportive treatment may include intravenous fluids with nutrients and electrolytes may be given to keep your pet hydrated and to help flush the system. Medication may be given to speed up recovery. Diazepam, also known as Valium, is used to treat anxiety, muscle spasms, and seizures. In dogs, it can also alleviate vestibular symptoms and speed up metronidal toxicity recovery from a couple weeks down to just a couple of days. Cats, on the other hand, should not receive oral diazepam as it can cause serious liver complications. Hospitalization may be necessary in certain cases, depending on the severity of the symptoms. This is primarily to provide the best possible nursing care to keep your pet comfortable. With prompt treatment by a veterinary professional, the prognosis is excellent. Most pets start feeling better within a few days after stopping the metronidazole, and full recovery usually happens within one to two weeks. If we use diazepam, we can see recovery in just one to two days. The key is recognizing the signs and acting quickly. Metronidazole is a valuable tool in our medical toolbox when used correctly. But like any medication, it comes with risks. The silver lining is that metronidazole toxicity is treatable and even reversible. The more we know, the quicker we can catch it and the faster our pets can get back to feeling like themselves. If your pet is showing unusual neurological signs and they've taken metronidazole, call your veterinarian right away. If it's after hours, contact an emergency clinic or call a poison hotline. 